Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of August of 2022 and beyond, yeah? I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well, yes? Uh, we are going to get into this. Please keep in mind, Capricorn, that this is a general reading. This is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. However, if you are, if you find yourself resonating with this reading and you want more potentially more messages for yourself and your situation in these general readings and these videos then i definitely recommend that you uh, get engaged with the channel leave me a comment in the comment section down below that is really an effective way to help me connect with your energy regardless as to whatever your profile name or image is picture and also smash that like button and subscribe that also helps but really leaving a comment does leave an imprint of your energy in it and as i read through the comments that helps me to connect with your energy so if you're looking for messages for your potential situation in these general readings definitely get engaged with the channel but also I am available for a personal reading. If you really want to get down and dirty with it and your personal situation, then a personal reading is definitely the best thing to do. Uh, all, I list all the readings that I offer in the description box below. Just shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than pleased as punch to you get you all hooked up. Yeah, Capricorn? Um, oh, and also Capricorn, this is in fact a timeless reading. Yes, we are channeling this message for you and bringing it to you in the month of August of 2022, but this can resonate for you at any time, okay? Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Alrighty, Capricorn, I am going to give this one last shuffle and we will see, whoops, one last time. We will see what it is we've got for you for this month's message for this round. You have, you're starting with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I was guided to, to look at that. Maybe it's just because I was curious. Um, but okay, that kind of makes sense because I was seeing a bit of like a peachy, rosy type energy for you. Um, and it felt, at first appearance, I'll say, it felt very peaceful, very loving, very happy and content. And that does is reflected here in the Empress, okay? So that you've got that going for you so far. Let's dive deeper and see what else we can pull out for you. Alrighty. Let's see. What's going on for Capricorn at this time? What messages do we have for my Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please, Spirit. You've got the Page of Pentacles to start. Okay. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Next card you have is the Four of Wands. Excellent. Ooh. Then you have the Five of Wands. Okay. All right. Anything else for Capricorn here? Two of Swords. This is interesting. Lots of similar cards for the other, uh, as the other uh, signs in the collective. And then overall energy you have here is the uh, the lovers. Alrighty, Capricorn. So what what's going on here? Well, like I said, you do have a lot of the same cards that some of the other signs have received: Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Swords, the Lovers. Um, these are the, these are like the main cards that seem to have, or it has as part of a set of, a, of the main cards that seem to have been coming out for the collective as a whole. Okay. I'm, I haven't finished the Zodiac yet. I'm at Capricorn. I'm going in chronological order. Of course, I have Aquarius and Pisces to finish after this one. Um, but the general theme for the collective this month or for this round of readings for this time period has been some sense of personal, a sense of personal liberation, um, um, uh, mainly the one phrase that I want to say that resonates for the whole collective right now, at least so far, is your right to choose. And that has absolutely come out here for you in the lovers. The lovers can represent, you know, a twin flame, divine partner, extremely strong soulmate or very loving, high vibrational relationship romantically. If you know, if this resonates with you, it could represent the the relationship between you and like say what some would consider a, con a kingdom spouse okay um but also when it doesn't represent love the lovers represents a choice and because it's the major arcana the lovers would represent a choice of your highest good or a church a choice that would potentially serve your highest good also 
the lovers could represent the law of free will okay but it's but really the the big the big thing here is your right to choose that seems to be the main message or the main theme for the collective and it does look like that's coming out here for you now in some way how is that resonating specifically well as close as i can get right now because this is a general reading so take it as it resonates but i do feel like this has to do with some sort of family situation the first thing that I get when I look at these cards, the page of pentacles, the four of pentacles, I'm sorry, the four of wands, but the five of wands to the two of swords is telling me that this may actually have to do with a relationship or a family setting, maybe a marriage or maybe a longstanding relationship, four of wands. And I feel like somebody here is trying to start a new, start a new somehow. Get something new off the ground. I do feel like, Capricorn, this may be whatever this page of pentacles energy is that um, I'm feeling is representing a new start. I, I just heard a new level of ability. Okay, let's put a pin in that. But whatever this pin of page of pentacles feels like, or, or, or whatever this page of pentacles is, it feels like a brand new start, a new process, a new regimen, a new pathway a new way forward maybe a new sense of commitment um and with that i did hear something about a new ability so what i'm getting with this capricorn is that you have some sort of relationship it might be romantic but the main thing that i'm feeling here is some sort of family it could represent that with this four of wands but you have a situation that is it feels like this has been long standing and it feels like somebody is trying to I, I just heard recreate the situation and I did hear for somebody here that this is coming from a new place of ability. So this might be a situation in which you Capricorn or maybe the person that you're dealing with um, has gone through some sort of, I want to call it an awakening, um, an expansion process. Maybe this is a level of healing that has been adequately or sufficiently achieved that is providing you with a new sense of opportunity what i really want to say here is what this is feeling like is like this is similar to what i experienced when i was going through the real the real heat of a level of activation spiritual and um ascension type of activation that led me to be in the position that i am now years later down the road as a reader as a channeler as a guide um, it's something i always wanted to do but i had an activation moment which i do feel like coincided with the twin flame activation or at least what led me to realize or become aware of what the twin flame connection is it feels like what this feels like for you capricorn is when i went through something like that so i was in a relationship i was actually in a marriage i was married at the time um, and our relationship kind of always included some sort of spiritual context or like higher awareness context deep conversations whatnot whatever but over the course of the years of that relationship i really ascended like i really accelerated in my expansion in my sense of self-awareness um in my sense of abilities and in, in, in all that kind of stuff and i basically outgrew that relationship I'm not saying, Capricorn, that you've outgrown this relationship, but someone here has definitely leveled up. And that is providing them with a new opportunity or a new ability, some sort of new skill set, maybe a desire to do something differently, a desire to change their ways or change the circumstances. And I feel like this person is very, very sincere and genuine about it. I get a very enthusiastic energy from you. Hmm. Or at the very least from this situation uh, I don't I don't feel like somebody wants to pull out of the relationship but that may end up happening because with this you have the page of Pentacles a new start four of wands some sort of foundation I am picking up on a long-term situation or a long-standing situation ship this could be a family the four of wands can definitely represent family it can represent a marriage it can also represent maybe a creative partnership um, it can represent a romantic relationship uh, whether it's new or not it doesn't matter it can still represent that foundation of a romantic relationship but also this four of wands 
outside like outside of you know um external influences just in terms of the person that we may be speaking to who is most likely the capricorn here but it could be anything take it as it resonates this four of wands could also represent the sense of spiritual foundation that you or this person has found that they are coming from that they are approaching the situation with now to this five of wands this five of wands feels like it's some sort of long-standing conflict some sort of differing of opinion that seems to have been a topic of contention or a source of um butting heads um and for some of you here i am picking up on pretty specifically that in terms of a romantic relationship we may be talking about here, potentially even a marriage, this feels like it has always been an issue. Not to say that it's like an extreme issue. It hasn't been enough of an extreme issue for the, the foundation of this relationship or, or the relationship as a whole to fall apart, to crumble. It's definitely, definitely not the Five of Swords energy, but it's still some sort of differing of opinion or need to work something out. Okay, and... Then you have this two of swords here. But before I say that, what I want to say is it feels like this has been a longstanding situation that needs to be needs to be worked out. We need to find a resolution here. And it feels like with this page of pentacles energy that someone is ready to approach this longstanding argument or differing of opinion from a new from a potentially new. Well, not really potentially from a new place. From a new sense of understanding is what I just heard. From a new, maybe a new sense of awareness of self that is providing this person with the opportunity and or the ability to approach this long-standing argument and or situation and to be able to work it out. And I'm going to say confidently, yes, to be able to work it out because it feels like this person has intentions in working it out in finding some sort of resolution in finding some sort of equilibrium or common ground. But then that's where we get to the two of swords. Because it feels like here there are either the other person in this relationship or other people involved in this situation are still in a sense of denial. Two of swords. They don't necessarily want to work this out. And that's where I'm getting feelings of energies where like somebody has evolved. Someone has... Um, I just wanted to say eloped. Interesting. Oh my goodness. Is someone looking to elope here? But um, this is where I'm getting the feeling of someone has evolved, someone has leveled up, someone has grown, someone has a new sense of ability. Now, total sidebar, but this might actually be a situation in which... And again, that would keep to the divine right to choose, okay? Your personal right to choose, right? Your, your sense of free will. So this actually may be a situation in which someone has decided that they're, gonna, they're going to marry the person that they're in love with or the person that they desire to marry. Whether love is in the situation or not, I don't know yet. Maybe we'll figure that out. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I feel like here is this literally could be a situation in which someone is like, fuck it. I don't I don't want my parents approval. You don't need my parents approval. You have my approval. I have your approval. Let's just fucking do this and go get married and elope. And if that resonates with you, then I will say yet again that this is very much right in line with the collective theme of um liberation personal liberation personal freedom and your divine right to choose okay i'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're wrong or i'm also not going to tell you that you're right for doing this it's not my that's none of my business that's really just my opinion this is your life and i i feel whatever this situation is for you whether someone actually is eloping or whether someone wants to just approach a long-standing situation and try to find a resolution from their new sense of self, from their ability, their desire to work this out, I feel like at this point it might, it might be a waste of time because it still feels like whomever is in opposition to this in, in this situation or it, whomever is in feeling, op and you may both, honestly, both of you may have been 
really stubborn. Both sides of this situation may have really been stubborn in the very beginning of this up until all this time, but then something happened. We'll, get, we'll find out, but something happened that changed someone's reality, maybe changed someone's perspective, and that is allowing them to come back to the situation and say, okay, let's find a way to work this out. But it doesn't feel like the other side of the equation is in that same energy. There is some sort of disconnect. There's some sort of energetic difference between the, the two sides of this equation. Um, and it may just come to a point where you you know what? You're just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to try and work this out with you any longer. If you're just going to sit in denial all the time, if you're not going to listen to what I have to say, if you're not going to try and find common ground with me, then what's the point? <laughs> Capricorn, I'm hearing resistance is futile. And that can be taken a few different ways. But what it really feels like here in terms of resistance is futile is that um, being resistant to this situation is not going to get anybody anywhere. And I don't feel like both sides of the equa equation are resistant any longer. I feel like one side of the equation, like I've been saying, is ready and willing to work this out, to make a change. But the other side is resistant and resistance is futile means that this resistance is not going to help you. It's first of all, not going to, it's not going to help you find a resolution to the situation. And more importantly, putting forward this type of resistance is most likely only going to make the side of the equation that wants to work this out completely walk away from it. So whomever is resistant here, the message for you is resistance is futile because it's not going to get you what you want. Someone may actually be digging their heels in because they want something specific for whatever reason. And if you're not willing to give, if you're not willing to compromise, if you're not willing to meet each other in the middle, then you're going to face losing or end up losing this situation or relationship. Point blank, period. Resistance is futile. All right. Okay, Capricorn, let's move, let's look deeper. What, so, so what is this page of pentacles here? What seems to have changed or what does this page of pentacles represent for Capricorn? Wow. The first card is the tower. Yeah, this is a major change. Now someone, met, okay, all right, cool. Okay, so hold on. Let me, let me retract the claws a little bit, I guess, or let me fall back just a little bit. Because this tower here has just come out to clarify the page of pentacles. And what this is saying here, you guys, is that yes, the advent of this person wanting to work things out or wanting to change something or being, being willing or ready to work on this, or maybe even having the skill set available to them to work on this situation is completely sudden, probably a complete 180 and absolutely out of the blue for someone here. And either, other than that, it's just a major change. This is a big, 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 big change. This actually, this tower energy may be representative of someone completely letting, letting their walls down or kind of like surrendering somehow. So if that's the case, then everything we were talking about here in terms of being resistant and everything like that, something may have happened. Like we could have been, we could have been talking about all of this energy has been in the past, right? And now all of a sudden something changed, something happened, something went down that caused this person to do a complete 180 and, and surrender in some way, put up their white flag instead of trying to fight the war, the battle needlessly, endlessly. And that's back to where circle, or I'm sorry, that's, that's where spirit circles back around to the message of resistance is futile. This, if there is any card, if there is any card Capricorn that would describe or would embody that phrase, resistance is futile, it absolutely would be the tower. Because no matter how resistant you are to something, either you are going to need to be the one, or I'm, I'm sorry, no matter how resistant you are or how resistant you want to be, either you are going to need to be the one to make this change or the universe is gonna come in and do it for you, okay? No matter how much you may resist. And really, the resistance is not going to change or going to stop anything from happening. Quite frankly, it's only going to make it more painful or difficult for you to handle when it does happen, right? It's very much like, say you, um, 
I don't know, say you're like skateboarding or out BMX biking or some shit like that, and you're trying to do a trick and you, you, you screw it up and you end up falling. In any situation, if you were to fall, okay, let's say if you are in a really resistant state, okay, and you're all, you know, all bunched up and, and blah, 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 you actually could hurt yourself more than if you would be relaxed and to go with like, say, instead of resisting the motion of this fall, you go with the motion of the, the momentum of the fall and you actually may do less damage to yourself than if you are in a resistant state, right? If you're all closed up. Resistance is futile. Okay, continue. Page of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What is this Page of Pentacles? Okay, now we have the Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, Page of Pentacles, anything else? Page of Pentacles for Capricorn. Ooh. Two of Wands reversed. King of Cups reversed. All right. And then the overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, so what we're talking about here in clarifying... Oops. Look at this. Sorry guys, that's probably been, that's probably all been on, out of focus all along. Sorry about that. Um, so what we're talking about here is why someone all of a sudden has, has a change of heart. I definitely can say that at this point because we have this King of Cups here. Um, we're talking about what changed all of a sudden that got this person into a place of, okay, I'm ready to work this out or I'm ready to deal with the situation at hand. There was some sort of tower moment, again, yes, a sudden change that, again, got somebody out of a resistant energy is really what I wanna call it, okay? You have the Nine of Swords reversed, the Two of Wands reversed, and the King of Cups uh, reversed. Now this King of Cups reverse is definitely representing this change of heart, um, but I feel like somebody was closed off emotionally. Somebody was not emotionally available, maybe lacking in compassion. Um, I also feel like someone was resistant to someone else's, or this person at least was resistant to either someone else's or the other side of the equation's point of view. Um, this person may not have really been willing to listen to what the other side of the equation had to say, but that changed. And that was fear-based. I still wanna know why though. I w still wanna know, I mean, this is confirming yet that yes, this is a very sudden change, but I still don't quite understand why. Please excuse the sniffles, I'm having some allergy problems today. To the nine of pentacles here. Oh, okay, so what Spirit is saying is codependency. So it feels like this person is ready to stand on their own in some cases. This may be, especially with this King of Cups reverse, this might have been a very codependent individual or this person was coming from a codependent place. This could be you, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. Take it as it resonates. But now, I mean, I guess Spirit is not really going to tell it. They don't really need to tell us exactly what, suddenly changed but this is very much a sudden change maybe it was a situation in which somebody recognized that they needed to be more independent and sovereign or they were going to face actually the reality of losing this relationship so that could very well be or this situation or circumstance so that very well could be the the sudden the sudden strike of a uh, spark of creation or strike of wisdom or understanding that caused this person to change their ways. It also very well could be, now this very well could be someone who has faced, who really like, really faced the reality of potentially losing whatever this circumstance is. Um, I feel like this King of Cups in reverse, who actually is represented by the Page of Pentacles now also as well, um, I feel like this person may have called the other person's bluff and be like, you're not going to leave or you're not going to end this situation. You're not going to pull out of this, blah, blah, blah. And, the, and someone was like, oh, really? <laughs> okay, watch me. And they started walking away. Or at least they started acting in ways that would indicate that they are leaving this situation behind. Again, resistance is futile. 
you can resist this all you want, but the resistance is only going to make it worse for you, right? In the end, or the resistance is going to cause you to lose this circumstance or situation altogether. Yeah, that'll really make someone shape up sometimes if it really is that important to them. And I'm feeling like it is now because now I'm being taken to this four of wands and it could very well be this sudden change in this person, this sudden change of heart was catalyzed not only by calling out someone's bluff and then actually someone following through with that, but also in terms of that someone realizing what, whatever good situation it is that they have here, four of wands. This is kind of like what I'm hearing now, Capricorn, is like looking a gift horse in the mouth. I don't know why that exactly is a phrase to mean what it means, but maybe being overly critical of something that is being gifted to you and kind of being persnickety about it and be and like uh, like dissecting it to make sure you even want to accept it. No bitch, it was a it was a freaking gift. Like what is that? Right? <laughs> okay. Let's look at the 4 of wands then. What's this 4 of wands energy for Capricorn, please? You might be oh Good God, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. And it's funny because why I'm saying good God is because the devil represents you, Capricorn. And I guess intuitively I was picking up on the fact that the devil was about to come out because right as I started shuffling and pulling these cards to clarify the four of wands, I realized for some reason in my head, I heard myself and felt myself become you know, aware, and not that I don't know this already, but the awareness, the conscious awareness of the fact that the Cap that Capricorn is represented by the devil had not come out yet. And I felt like it should have been. And then boop, here it is. And as I was making that formulation in my head, I also felt you might be dealing with a Scorpio, this King of Cups here. But the Four of Wands is clarified by, clarified by the devil and the Knight of Swords, which is already confirming that Somebody here is deciding to fight. A yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, I definitely think I want to uh, 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 title this reading a, su reading a Sudden Change of Heart because this now the Four of Wands is clarified by the Devil, this, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles with, ah, with the Emperor as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. And what I heard with the Emperor here, Capricorn, is that someone is taking responsibility ownership someone is owning up to their look 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 and then see i was i was putting the deck down on the table and the last card on i'm sorry the card on top came out to show itself and it's the nine of pentacles again somebody here feels like it takes it feels like somebody here is taking responsibility for their actions or owning up for their side of the equation what they have what they are responsible for or what their involvement is in the situation, what their involvement has been in the situation. The Four of Wands is clarified by the Devil, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. So what this is saying here to me is that someone is now willing to fight for reciprocity in this relationship. Someone is willing to battle, combat the devilish, toxic, maybe even codependent energies in this situation or circumstance. The official representation of codependency here would in fact be the devil. So either this is someone who recognizes or realizes that they got to shape up and not be so damn codependent in order to stay in this relationship. Or at the very least, someone is, is recognizing that they need to take ownership they need to be independent, they need to be sovereign, but they also need to take ownership for their role and their actions in this circumstance or situation, the emperor. And this is very much a situation in which someone recognizes and or realizes that they need to do this to ensure the safety and, and permanence of this foundation that you have with this individual or in this situation. Again, whether it's family or romance or maybe even business, some sort of creative endeavor. And of course, this could very well just be this person here, Page of Pentacles, that has gone through this sudden change of heart. Yeah. Okay, that's excellent. Let's look at what this argument has been then. What's this five of wands, this differing of opinion, this need to work something out? You have the 10 of swords. Okay, so that is in fact confirming that this argument is 
I just heard ceasing to exist. I also heard cease and desist. So uh, like when you receive a, a cease and desist order from, um, in, from some sort of legal counsel, it's because you are violating some sort of contractual agreement, some sort of copyright claim or something like that, and you are being told to stop doing whatever it is you are doing in order to not have to face some sort of legal action. This is confirmation at this uh, uh, this is confirmation saying that this could be worked out or at least it needs to be worked out it's also confirmation that if you do not work this out you are going to have a serious problem and you're going to have a serious problem most likely in losing this circumstance and or relationship some of you may actually have been may have actually been served a cease and desist order and if you don't follow through with that then you're probably going to face some sort of legal battle or legal trouble. I'm not going to sit here and say that you are right or wrong here. I'm just reading the energies. But this Ten of Swords here is confirmation that this situation either has come to an end, it can to come to an end, or it's about to come to an end. Clarify the Five of Wands, please. Yep, yeah, look, at, look at that, you guys. The next card you have is the world, another card of completions, right? The 10 of swords is a 10, that's a completion. The world is 21, technically, yes, but the world represents a completion. It represents completing one cycle and starting a new cycle. Now, quite frankly, you guys, what I am picking up on for some of you here is that this world energy represents a portal of you being able to leave this situation behind completely. I just heard cease and desist again. There might be a strong ego battle going on here because what I, part of me, what I feel like what I want to say is, However, this cease and desist energy resonates for you, Capricorn or cross watcher, really, this could be for a cross watcher. Um, you might be better off just doing that. And that's where the, in the ego aspect of it comes in. And that's where I kind of want to tread lightly because I'm not, because like, we're not going to go dive deep enough for me to be able to really tell you from my perspective or point of view, at least as a third party reading the energies that, uh, as an individual that's not involved with this, I'm not diving deep enough to be able to tell you whether you're right or wrong in, in pursuing this argument. But all I can tell you right now, Capricorn or Crosswatcher, is that you will probably save yourself a lot of trouble if you just comply with some sort of cease and desist order. And that very well could be from the universe, okay? That very well could be from your higher self saying, look, buddy, sis, bro, I mean, like, okay, I get it's a valiant effort you're putting up here, but really, resistance is futile. Uh, really, you're, this is not even worth it. You are going to call. You are going to have to deal with a lot more pain, trouble, and turmoil if you continue in this way. Even if you are technically in the right, the question here is: Is it really worth it to keep up this argument? So the resistance could also be the resistance to not end this situation. And again, regardless as to whether you are actually right or wrong, although I feel like that is fairly subjective, okay? But even if you are technically in the right, it's most likely going to cause you way more pain and struggle to actually follow through with proving yourself or enforcing the fact that you're right than it would if you were to just throw your hands up and be like, you know what? That's fine. Whatever. I'm out of here, right? All right, anything else for the five of wands? <laughs> Yo, okay. So um, what I was just describing, Capricorn, of you throwing your hands up and being like, you know what? I'm not even going to fight this with you any longer. I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I'm just going to leave because this situation is toxic. That would be represented. That would be represented by the five of swords. And remember, I said it's the five of wands here in the beginning of the reading. It's the five of wands. It's not really the five of swords. So it doesn't even feel like this is really that bad of an argument or a bad of a situation. But then what comes out to clarify this five of wands? Two more cards here, but one of them is in fact the five of swords. And underneath the five of swords or with the five of swords is ooh, the hanged man. Oh shit. All right, so this is either confirmation of the fact that you are receiving the right information and you're going about this the right way, or this is a warning to you. 
to whomever this, who, whether this is for the Capricorn or this is for a cross watcher dealing with a Capricorn and they've got this situation going on here. You need to, somebody needs to walk away from this situation. That's exactly what this Five of Swords represents. Cease and desist. Spirit may be saying to you, you need to stop arguing about this or you need to stop pressing this argument because it is not going to end well for you. Anything that involves the Five of Swords here, whether the Five of Swords type of energy, whether you actually do technically come out on top, you do come out of this the victor, nobody wins when the Five of Swords is involved. Everybody walks away with some sort of damage. Of course, within to, var with, to varying degrees, Okay, but I am not going to sit here and encourage someone to fight this battle with the hopes that maybe they'll exit this battle the winner and with minor damage. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not even worth it. It is not even worth it. And that's why you have a depiction on this card of two individuals walking away from this from this who see this individual who seems to be the victor with their heads down. Now, of course, you could say, well, they're walking away like that with their heads down because they're ashamed, because they lost. But it could also be that they're like, you know what, buddy? Take my sword, okay? I don't wanna do this with you any longer. And there also is very much a sense of remorse and pain here, okay? But now, so it could, this could be a warning to someone, but it also, is clarification that the situation has come to an end, Ten of Swords, and you're able to release the situation. For those of you that actually want to start over, I am saying to you here that there is a good possibility. Because remember, with this Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, I was picking up on, for somebody here, they're willing to try something new. They're willing to start again. They're willing to rebuild. They're willing to come together. They're willing to start over. They're willing to try again. In a new way, of course. And this would be confirmation of that. Why? Ten of Swords. The situation has come to an end, has reached a, completed re a completion, which then leads to a transformation, which then leads to uh, exiting that cycle, right? Going through this portal of exiting that cycle, finishing, completing that cycle, and now stepping into a new one. And the reason why this has happened is because someone has gained been able to, if this is actually happening for you and this is not a warning, someone has actually been able to gain a change in perspective that is allowing them to leave the fight behind. Good on ya, okay? La uh, overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Underneath this we have back to the nine of pentacles. Look at that Capricorn. Someone is thinking for themselves. Something, someone is becoming more independent, more sovereign, less codependent. And let me just say, that is a process, especially if someone is newly stepping into this. You can't expect them to be an expert at being uh, independent overnight, okay? This is a process. So I want somebody, I really need someone to understand that. This is a process. But the fact that this person is even trying is good. I want to say is good enough. Okay, nine of pentacles. Now also what I wanna say is someone actually could be walking away from this relationship because the nine of pentacles does in fact, in some cases, represent being single. Hmm. Resistance is futile, guys. Finally, let's clarify this two of swords. Clarify the two of swords for Capricorn, please, spirit. Ooh, the Queen of Swords. And Spirit does say it's upright. Okay. The Four of Swords and the... Jeez. Yo, jeez Louise, man. Overall energy is the Six of Wands for you, Capricorn. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on in this situation, but honestly, what I want to tell you is you're better off just, you might be, for some of you out here, you might be better off just walking the fuck away, all right? Because what the Two of Swords is clarified by is the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. And what this is saying to me is like, first of all, Queen of Swords discernment. Okay, straight up and down, no need for deliberation, no need for argument, no need for hearing any more sides of the equation or any more, any more, um, any more arguments. Okay, no need to hear any, no, no need for any more deliberation. Four of Swords, clear your mind, 
seven of pentacles. The, the, the question that I'm getting with this is, you've seen enough, haven't you? You're really not going to get what it is that you want by staying in this denial, are you? There's no if, ands, or buts about it anymore. You see this clearly. So either this is the reason why someone decided to come out of a level of denial, okay? Or this is confirmation for someone here that if your intuition is peaking and is telling you, man, look, this ain't gonna go nowhere. I see what this is. This isn't gonna change, seven of pentacles. I see what we, I see what this is at this point. I, we've reached this checkpoint. I've seen sufficient evidence to recognize and understand who you are in relation to this situation. And now I know for a fact that you are not going to change or this situation is not going to change. So you know what? I'm just going to cut my losses and I'm going to free myself. I'm going to liberate myself. The six of wands. I'm going to find victory here in walking away from this situation. Or for some of you, I'm going to find victory in no longer being in denial and changing something. But also that six of wands could resonate with the individual that is seeing what's going on here and recognizing that this person is not going to change because they're not going to, they're just going to keep up whatever it is they've got going on here to save face. And yes, saving face is actually for whomever is resonating with that, who, who, whoever you are talking to or dealing with here that is in this two of swords denial energy, they are absolutely trying to save face. They are trying to keep up their perceived reputation or whatever reputation they have is right now, they ain't trying to change nothing. They're trying to hold on to that. Okay. So, I mean, Capricorn, this can go any, this can go many, many different ways. Okay. But hopefully I, you've been able to get, <laughs> cause this is a long reading. So hopefully you've been able to get a sufficient clarity in your situation, but let's close this out. Closing messages for Capricorn, please spirit. The sun you know, I definitely want to say, Capricorn, regardless as, as to how this situation actually wor ends up working out for you here, the resolution is going to be a good one. Whether you guys are able to come together and meet face to face and find common ground or whether it is you recognize and realize and decide you realize what this is and you decide, you know what, I'm just going to walk away altogether. Either way, there is a positive outcome that is assured. The sun. Okay, anything else to close this out for Capricorn? The, damn, now the King of Swords, damn. I mean, like even more confirmation. Anything else? Eight of Pentacles. And that's all. Overall energy is, ha ha, the King of Wands. Have confidence in yourself, have faith in yourself. Okay, King of Wands. Recognize that if you guys are working on this situation to make it better, to heal, stay confident, keep your eyes on the prize, don't let anything deter you. Look for the appropriate moments to strike and do the do, yes? In terms of that narrative, the Sun, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles represents bright opportunity to see things clearly and be as objective as possible and then do the subsequent work involved to heal or fix this situation if that is what you intend to do don't let anything stop you stay confident king of wands on the flip side the sun the king of swords and the eight of pentacles are saying bright happy awareness a bright future is assured because you are seeing this clearly you are being as objective as possible and you do recognize either the amount of work you've put into it already or the what the work you see the work that could be done to fix this situation but if someone is not willing to do that with you don't worry about it stay confident stay secure stand your ground stay passionate king of wands go in the direction that is right for you and do not let anyone anyone deter you and or stop you why because you are seeing this objectively you are seeing this situation exactly as it is don't let anybody gaslight you and try and make you think you're not because you are king of swords Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you guys so much love. Uh, please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Capricorn, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.